A woman with terminal lung cancer is being rushed to Community Regional Medical Center for a rare procedure, one that could significantly improve the quality of her life. So this is a patient that has a diagnosis of lung cancer. Uh, the lung cancer is uh, non-operable, in other words, it can't be removed, and so she's undergone chemo and radiation therapy in order to try and improve her longevity. Uh, she's now developed narrowing of the passageway into the right lung and she's having difficulty breathing because of the narrowing of the passageway. Dr. Carl Van Gundy will try to ease her suffering by opening the airway into her lung. We do a bronchoscopy to evalu evaluate the area. Uh, normally the bronchoscopies either go through the nose and or the mouth, but this one we went through the mouth just because of the number of instruments that we have to end up passing through. We go through the voice box and down the windpipe itself and look into the left and the right lung and after we've taken a look at what the lungs represent and what the injuries or what's happened to them, then we end up deciding what to do. So this is the person's vocal cords right there, and we're putting some numbing medicine on there so she doesn't cough quite so much. So she keeps narrowing down her windpipe to her right lung, and because it keeps narrowing down because of the cancer, they transferred her, we transferred her here so that we could keep that, wind, that portions of her lungs open. So, so literally what we're doing is we're looking down the right side of her lung right now. And in this area there, it doesn't look normal. Uh, so you can see that there's tumor cell or tumors or growth that you can see that are going out along the sides of the airway itself. And they're pushing in or narrowing down the passageway that she has into her lungs. Because of Margaret's condition, it's very difficult for her to breathe and speak. She's also at high risk for developing life-threatening pneumonia. Dr. Van Gundy begins by inserting a thin wire into Margaret's airway and down into her lungs. The wire will be used to guide the other medical instruments into the correct position. And so we put the wire down and then we advanced a balloon, which is just a regular long balloon that dilates to a specific size when we put it to a certain amount of pressure. What we've got now is we've got the balloon down into the area that we want to end up dilating. So I want you to go to eight. 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 Let it down. Uh, we dilated out the airways in order to, so it can accommodate a larger stent and that way her airway or her passage will be further open rather than narrowed. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put in a more permanent process to keep it open. Actually the stent is wrapped in, in a Y or in a, a string that'll keep it from springing open. And then once it springs open, then it ends up staying in the area or it stays there. So now we're just going back the way we came we ended up passing the wire back down the airway in order to guide on where the stent would be placed. And then at that point, then we guide the stent down the airway and try and position it into as good a position as we possibly can and then deploy it, uh, which is the black string that you see that unravels the stent. Dr. Van Gundy guides the stent down Margaret's throat to the damaged area of her lung. This is an extremely challenging maneuver, and Dr. Van Gundy must be careful to place the stent in the proper location. So what we're trying to do now is position the stent in the right place to make sure that we get those, those right passageways set up for the patient. Okay, let's go ahead and pull the wire. Let me relax it a little bit. There you go. You're complete. Mm -hmm. okay. Stents kind of look like the Chinese finger puzzles uh, in that uh, they, they push out and they don't close. And because they push out and not close, they keep the airway open. We went back down with the wire again, placed that into the inside of the stent, and then tried to reposition the stent a little bit better to get it a little bit further down into the airways itself and to make it seat so that it won't travel up at all. Okay, we're all done. okay? She should feel better with her breathing being better and then the other thing that it should prevent is from her developing that pneumonia 
as fast as she possibly would. Well, the stent will last as long as she will. Unfortunately, of course, she still has cancer, and unfortunately, it's not curable.